Welcome back everyone. So sadly it's our last stop on our princess cruise. We are headed into Guernsey today and we're going to be taking tender boats. So instead of being docked at the port, we are going to be hopping on the little boats and taking a 20 minute boat ride to land. Have arrived in Guernsey. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Today we are walking around St. Peter's Port and I'm just going to give you some fun facts about the area. We're going to be visiting places that are walking distance from the port area so you can get a better idea of the things that you can do here. We are currently in the candy gardens here in Guernsey and it would be great if I could not cut my face off. Anyway, we've got a fantastic view of our ship behind me. I don't sure if you can see it. Oop, it's coming into focus. Anyway, we are in candy gardens and you get great views over St. Peter's Port from up here. It's really beautiful, it's up on a hill. The gardens are actually home to the largest heated uh, glass house in the British Isles, and they were built in the 18th century. So that's a pretty fun fact, right? So another great thing about Guernsey is apparently they have some of the best milk in the world. The way that the cows are raised, they produce really rich uh, milk and dairy products. So at some point today, I'm gonna have to try some ice cream. I think some of the people behind me are drinking some cream tea at the moment. So I'm gonna go check that. So another fun fact about Guernsey is that they have one of the largest tidal ranges in the world spanning up to 33 feet. So that means that every six hours the tide drastically changes just like this. So if you can see the English Channel behind me and usually the tide would go all the way up to those rocks. So as you can see there are two cruise ships behind me. Over 120,000 passengers come every year to Guernsey from cruise ships. They have to take a tender boat, so you can kind of see one coming in now. Because the water is really shallow, the port's too shallow for the ships to dock. So yeah, you'll hop on a little boat. It takes about 20 minutes once it's all loaded up to get into port, and the last tender usually leaves around 5 p.m., so just make sure to check on your ship. So every single day at noon, they fire off a cannon at the Corn Cornet Castle, and it's very, very loud. It's kind of scary. <laughs> So we have just eaten at Beaton's Fish and Chips and it has been voted the most loved restaurant in all of Guernsey and it's been open for about 15 years and the food was so so delicious, it was massive so you probably share one between your friends. So located right down the road from Beaton's Fish and Chip is Chateau de Marais and it's been around for at least 800 years. The timing is actually a little bit unknown. And this is actually one of three castles that's on the island of Guernsey. So I'm currently standing next to the oldest post box that's still in use in the British Isles. It was installed in 1852 and since then it's been refurbished to look like its original design. And all the other post boxes in Guernsey are actually blue. And this one is really unique because it's still painted. So I have been searching all day for a witch's seat in Guernsey, and then I just realized that they're in the west of Guernsey, we're in the east. But if you ever come here and you're in the west, you need to look at the chimneys to see if there's a little like extra bit of brick sticking out because those are witch's seats. And they were built so that witches could fly over the house and take a break instead of causing mayhem over them. I think it's a really cool little, little so sadly our time in Guernsey has come to an end but I hope that you learned a little bit about this little island in the English Channel and I will see you next time. Bye.
Please remember to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and hit the subscribe button. Bye!